Um, but I will, it will come back to me. I've just had a little bit of a, a brain issue at the moment. But our dear friend Hosanna is still in basically the same spot that he has been for the last three days now. And he's just laying up in the long grass. He doesn't seem to be very interested in moving away from here. So that would explain why the baboons were alarming, as I'm sure that he got up and moved around a little bit and revealed himself, and they were not happy about that first thing in the morning. So they shouted and performed. The baboons now have since relaxed, and I haven't heard them calling since very early this morning. And I wonder what Hosanna's move is going to be next. Because just when we left him last night, I know we only found him in like the last minute of the show, is, uh, well, there were many Impala, many in Yala, only about 20 to 30 meters away from him, and they're walking right up here. I'm surprised that he wasn't able to catch one of those antelope. A little bit sad, but again, that just shows you he is a young, inexperienced leopard, because any other leopard would have just sat and waited, and of course, taken another opportunity and stashed a kill in exactly the same tree. He's been lucky. He's been avoiding the hyenas. The hyenas and their tracks are all around on these roads, but they haven't come to bother him. But he has finished his kill. He was almost finished it yesterday morning when we spent quite a bit of time with him. And he doesn't look like he's interested in going anywhere at all. But maybe we get lucky. Who knows? A nice shade of the tree. Maybe he'll climb up the tree again. I think that's where he spent most of the day yesterday and why nobody could find him is because there were so many leaves and you saw how we just had his eyes peering through and I think if you weren't 100% sure where he was or where to look, you would second guess yourself and actually go, no, he's moved out of the sighting. But I thought something was a little bit suspicious because I checked all the surrounding roads first. And no tracks, except loads of impala, lots of inyala footprints, and as well as hyena tracks, but no Hosanna tracks. I thought, hmm, I don't know if he's still going to be in the same spot, but let's give it a bash. And as we came around, well, I didn't see him just yet. He was just sitting behind the termite mound, as you can see. We came from the other side of the termite mound using an off-road track that we had used before. And he sat up, and luckily Senzor had spotted him, so he just did a big loop around and we came to visit him again. So I'm sure that you're all happy that we are still able, well, the last few days we've been able to see our young Hosanna growing up and see that, that he's still doing very, very well, which is great. I'm so happy about this. Now I do need to call the sighting in on the radio. Let me do that for very quickly, because I'm sure there's many guards that want to come here. Our morning mobiles, I've just relocated on young daughter Ingwe. He's in the same spot as yesterday near Vuyatela Lodge, um, where he had the bamba. It's just myself here. Please feel free to make your way into this lock. I'm going radio down. Oh, I'm going to go radio down. There's only us here, so anybody can come in if they want to and come and join us. Fast asleep, of course, but luckily for us, in, we've all got a lot of patience, so we can sit here and try and wait it out. Yesterday morning, it definitely turned into quite an entertaining morning with that impala that came through. And I must tell you, it was one of the funniest scenes, and we were talking about it last night as to why Hosanna didn't catch uh, the leopard. He didn't catch, not the leopard, he is the leopard, didn't catch the impala ram. And what he was doing is every time the impala was sort of staring, going, hmm, something's not right here, something's a little bit off, he would then look behind him. And as he'd turn his head behind him, Hosanna would pop his head up. And the grass is not particularly long here. You can see it's quite short. And he would stick his head up and he'd watch. And he got quite good every time. Uh, just before the impala looked back at him, he would duck down and lay in the grass. But he got caught out. As the impala turned on the last time, he'd forgotten to duck. So he basically gave himself away. He showed his entire body and then the impala was just like ha ha I see you and of course the snorting started and you could see how frustrated he was that he didn't get an opportunity to really stalk him properly but that's going to happen more often than you think and and it's just one of those things eventually he'll get better and better but even the adult le leopards do do of course uh, struggle the big cats are not the most successful hunters out there it is exceptionally tough for them Now, Charlie, you're wondering where Hosanna's sister, Shongile, is. Um, I don't know, actually. The last time I heard 
of Shongile was, well, I don't know, ages ago, and she's been living around a little gallery somewhere, so I'm sure she's fine. I'm sure she's catching terrapins, squirrels, dwarf mongoose, you name it, all those goodies. But no, we haven't seen her. And, and none of the other guides have said to me on passing that they've seen her, but she'll be around. She's fine. She was, uh, she's really good at catching things like that. And as long as she's consistently eating smaller things, even if she has to catch 10 terrapins a day, she'll be fine. She'll be able to live on something like that. And something will eventually um, sort of save her. Maybe she comes across an impala ram that has been killed during the rut. That happens often. Last year, we saw many, many impala rams that unfortunately had uh, well injuries that went straight through the ribs and punctured the lungs. And then they then passed on. And that would make for a perfect snack for a leopard, for a hyena, for a lion, for anything, really. But Hosanna is not moving. I don't know if he's going to wake up unless an impala decides to join the sighting again, and I don't think we're going to be lucky enough to have that happen two days in a row. It is empty. There is not an inyala in sight, not an impala around. I haven't even heard them rutting this morning like they normally do, so perhaps they've all moved on to different areas, which they will do. They've got to keep moving around, of course, to find better grazing. And as I say that, I heard the first rat just in the distance, one snorting. It sounds like there's some impala on quarantine on the big open plains, but he's in a deep sleep. He doesn't even care that we are here this morning. Maybe he finds comfort in us watching him sleep. <laughs> Right, let's go. I think we need to go and do a loop. Let's move away from Hosanna for a little bit. He, like I said, he's not going to do much. He's going to sleep. So we'll go and find some other things and we'll keep popping back past here.